Hey everybody, I'm back, I'm back. Again, I still don't know what I'm going to say. I'm still in the same mood I was in yesterday. Look, I even got the weed right in the same spot. <laughs> Keep it close to my heart. <laughs> oh yeah, I know I should stop smoking the weed because it's bad for my lungs. And I should do more tinctures because those are a little less um, damage on the body, you know, because you just put it under your tongue. It's sublingual. Then it absorbs within like 15 minutes and is effective. And especially since I have asthma, it would very much behoove me to find another way to, you know, smoke versus this. Bam. It's amazing all the stuff I could fit in my whole bra. I got... I got a purse, a pipe, I got, I have my gosh, you just never know what you'll find in here. You know what? That sounded terrible. That sound, fuck it, fuck it. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep talking because word vomit happens, right? It certainly does. So I don't know today like what my message is. I don't really have anything to say, but I might do a um, live stream later tonight, but I'm not positive. If I do, it'll probably be around eight, nine or 10. <laughs> not specific at all. Such the woman, I'm such the woman. So indecisive. You know, I might do it or I might not. You know, kind of like a wave, we, you know, our, our emotions come and they go, they ebb and they flow. So depending how I'm feeling, because I'm not feeling so inspired on the side of speaking right now, but I am feeling the creative spark, the bug. I just don't know which one of my talents I want to tap into. Speaking of tapping, I need you guys to do some tapping for me. Tap, tap, tap the like button. Can you do that? You could do it right now. I don't mind. I'll wait. I'll wait. I said I'll wait. Go ahead. Don't hurry. I'll, I'll still wait. Thanks. I appreciate your like. I need to up my, uh, my views, I guess, a bit. Although I don't want to get a whole bunch of just random people looking at my videos and just liking them the, just to like them. I mean, hopefully you like them because they have some type of value to you, some type of meaning, um, and is hopefully helpful or friendly or entertaining or something in some type of way that's of a amusement or benefit to you. Boy, I am rambling because I really have nothing to fucking say. I didn't even want to get up today. Today, I didn't get out of bed technically, technically, until almost 2 o'clock. But I'm also not feeling my best. My asthma is really bothering me. So when it's difficult to breathe, it's, it's like you're constantly running a marathon inside your body. So you're constantly winded. Even right now, just sitting here and talking to you, I'm a bit winded. So I'm here but i'm just a bit breathy today you guys just a bit breathy so i hope to have my inhaler within the next couple days because a little bit of air here and there it's kind of nice you know just a little bit a little bit of oxygen <laughs> oh fuck. so i don't know what i'm gonna do when i get home i i might do another craft or something I'm too fat for belly beads, but I did make myself a little anklet. Actually, I made two of them. See, I made myself a little anklets. They're not nothing. They're just little funnies. You know how I'm always telling everyone peace and good vibes. That's like my thing I'm always saying in chat rooms and when I talk to people. Hey, everyone, peace and good vibes, peace and good vibes. Um, so I wrote on here, sex and good vibes. Yeah, close enough, close enough. See, sex, can you, does it show? Sex and good vibes. Sex and good vibes. I haven't had any sex 
but I have had the good vibes. It's been quite a while. Oh. And then on my other ankle, I just have my tattoo. Did I tell you guys I did my own tattoo? I did when I was 18 and I had gone to Hawaii. I had uh, this bright, not so bright idea to give myself a tattoo. And it looked cute until I went and got it touched up. Because a few years later, I went to San Diego on vacation before I moved there. And I went to a tattoo shop on the beach. I told her I wanted some flowers added. And she did, and I didn't like them. I should have kept it the way I had done it originally. I had just done pretty much a leaf vine and my initials. And then I had the lady fix it up a bit and color it in. And then I didn't like it. I should have just not had any of the tattoo done at all. I should have just not done it. I wanted to get a tattoo, but I didn't mean to get it. I wish I would have done it a tiny bit different. That's all. But yeah, I had done the tattoo when I moved to Hawaii. When I was 18, it was my second or third time going there. And I had stayed out there for a few months because I had gotten married after high school. My husband went away. He was at sea. I traveled. I went to Alaska. I went to Hawaii. Not with my husband in the military. This was me by myself. And then when I went to Hawaii, I stayed with a friend whose husband was also in the military. And our husbands did know each other. Um, but they were out at sea and on different ships but I had stayed with her and it was really fun. It was a really different lifestyle. And then at one point it got to be a little too much and I ended up moving out into a different place because at one point the complex we were living in had evicted some of the people that lived there, but everyone in the complex were friends. So everyone moved into one unit. And at one point there were 14 of us. And I've talked to a little bit about this before. There were 14 of us in a two bedroom. 14 people in a two bedroom. Can you imagine that? Now, a lot of us, including myself, worked security and we worked odd hours. So we weren't usually there. Plus it was Hawaii. It was so fucking fun. We didn't care what time it was because we all worked different schedules and the weather was always the same, whether it was day or night, it was beautiful. So we'd be out at the pool at midnight or out at the beach or fishing or doing something. So even though there were a lot of us in the house, we were always doing stuff. And then we'd try to be courteous of the other people and let them sleep. So we would leave, you know, those were some interesting times. But um, there were a lot of ghost stories I could tell you guys about those times, too. A lot of them. A whole lot of them. But maybe I'll talk about that if you guys are interested. I don't know who's interested or not. Yep, and then after Hawaii, I went to straight from Hawaii to Alaska. And that was weird because I went during the summer and it was six months of daytime. It was really odd to me having it be daytime all the time. It would just get dim outside like it is right now. It's like six o'clock and the sun is just starting to set. Can't really see it. My cracked screen makes it hard to see anything, but it didn't get much darker than this. You never needed street lights or anything. So it was very, it took getting used to that's for sure. So anyways, I'm going to get back to walking because I was grocery shopping and I took a break because I'm tired, man. I'm out of breath. My asthma is bothering me and I still have to walk to the store because, well, some things you have to have like toilet paper. <laughs> They're nice to have. I mean, you don't have to, but I mean, it's very helpful to have, right? And food, dinner. So yeah, I had to walk my ass to the store so that you know, I could have the basics, asthma or not, still got to get shit done. But I figured while I was <sighs> I'm out of breath, while I was walking, I'd sit down for a minute, take a break, talk to you guys, shoot the shit, and then get back up. 
So up and at them, here I go again, you guys. Hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, peace.